With great power comes great speed. There is no doubt that the most powerful electric bicycles are also the fastest. Can you imagine your bike hitting speeds of up to 80 miles per hour? Would it be adrenaline-inducing fun or sheer madness? These days, every detail of the system plays a role in its performance and your experience while riding. Electric bikes are now lighter, more attractive, and more powerful than ever. You don't need to be physically fit to ride one. It gets you outside, reduces fossil fuels, reduces congestion, and it's fun. Over the past few years, we've tried almost every kind of e-bike there is, from the best heavy-duty cargo bikes to high-end mountain bikes. But which is the right one for you? Browse through the enormous collection of electric bikes online and you'll be exhausted by the options at your fingertips. Fortunately, we took the time to sift through the selection and filter out the most powerful electric bikes on the market today. You can have confidence in the capabilities of these bikes. You'll notice that I don't like to go too cheap with these winners because I've found that the very cheapest products don't use reliable or replaceable parts, and they usually lack warranty and customer service. My chosen e-bikes have more dependable motors, batteries, and drivetrains. Keep in mind that due to high demand, many of the best electric bikes are either on back order or are sold out. From the world Guinness record holder Delfast, bestseller Delfast Top 3.0 Electric Bike. Up to 200 miles on a single charge. Maximum speed up to 50 miles per hour. Carbon drive with one gear does not rust. It is not afraid of dirt and water. QS V2 motor with IPX5 protection withstands 6,000 watts in peak and is about two times more powerful than an average motorcycle. Front light includes the option to switch to high and low beam. Double hydraulic brake disc hit up to 90% less than conventional brake, which gives you additional safety and comfort. 72 volt 62A controller three regimes PAS or throttle regime eco city unlimited regime and recuperation Delfast Top 3.0 electric bike is filled with a wide range of technologies. Bluetooth, keychain, start-stop button, remote launch, alarm, motor blocking, and GPS tracker. We're here to showcase the brand new Revolution AT. This is the only bike in the world of this type. It's uh, nine inches of travel in the back. We have a full CNC swing arm, eight inches of travel on a custom fat DVO fork, featuring custom crowns, custom axles. So we optimize this over time to eliminate as much weight as we could without sacrificing strength. So that's why you see the cutouts in here. We actually saved almost a pound off the standard Revolution swing arm. So this beast is not as heavy as it looks. It is a lightweight machine starting in the 70 pound weight range and it's just a monster, it's so fun off-road. The back features a custom 260 millimeter skewer and a roll-off in the back, so you have 526% gear range. I want to talk about a brand new feature for the Revolution, which is the 14-speed roll-off XL. It's a fat-specific roll-off hub that is resistant to mud, sand, water. A really robust German-made hub with 14 evenly spaced gears with a humongous 526% gear ratio. You literally have everything in one bike. You have one chain line. We use a really heavy-duty e-bike specific chain on this. So uh, you have one chain line straight back and you have 14 gears to absolutely do anything from super, super high torque to super high speeds. So it really is everything in one bike. It's literally a monster off-road. You can climb absolutely anything in low gear and it hits a top speed of 45 miles per hour for the 3000 watt version. We're offering versions of the Revolution AT from 1500 watts, 2000 watts, 2500 watts, and 3000 watts. An amazing, an amazing bike. It's basically the M-Pro on steroids. Everything from the M-Pro is standard on the Revolution AT, including the Renthal Carbon Fat 35mm handlebar, including the Magura MT7 quad piston hydraulic disc brakes, the Cane Creek 110 headset, 
right here on this one is the, the DVO suspension option, which is an optional on the Revolution M Pro. Here we have a Magura Bluetooth dropper seat post. So you touch a button and it comes all the way up for pedaling uphill and it slams down for going downhill. This is a bike, we call it all-terrain because literally you can go anywhere and explore anything. There's no limitations. You can take this thing into terrain that would break another fat e-bike because it has way more suspension travel and it's just like a monster truck off-road. It's really, really fun. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about our new 2021 bikes. Behind me is the new Megatron. The Megatron is a beast, and I'm gonna explain why. Um, last year, we launched the Crusader and had two 500 watt hub motors, um, all wheel drive bike. It did extremely well for us this year with the Megatron. It's gonna have two 1,000 watt hub motors, so double the power as the Crusader. The motors are Bufang 1,000 watt motors. The other awesome thing about the Megatron, it's gonna come <clears throat> with two 17 amp hour batteries, one in the frame and one on top. Um, this battery will be um, the Viper Western camo like here, just for the, for the sake um, of the video and getting this video out. It's, it's black, but it will come standard with the camouflage battery as well. Um, but again, two 17 amp hour batteries totaling 34 amp hours of battery. This thing will get you up to 80 miles on a single charge. The other cool thing about the Megatron is that on the controls, on the control pad up top, you're going to be able to switch it from front wheel drive, wheel wheel drive, or all wheel drive. Now to put it in a front wheel drive, there's three pads on the, the console here. Um, you'll be able to double click on the front pad to get front wheel drive. You'll be able to double click on the rear pad to get rear wheel drive, and double click the center pad to get all wheel drive. The other unique thing about the Megatron is it's going to come with a new, um, new and improved LCD, full colored LCD display up top. It's actually horizontal instead of vertical. And then it's going to come all with the standards of our 1000 watt bikes. It's going to have a 4.8 inch tire. It's going to have the Tetradrato four piston hydraulic brake, 203 millimeter rotor in the front and 180 millimeter rotor in the back. Just so everybody knows too, this is actually the controller box. On the Crusader, um, the controller box is actually mounted into the frame because of the extra large batteries in the frame and on top, we actually put the controller back here. And then we're gonna put it into our most popular camouflage, which is the True Timber Viper Western Camo. This bike has a 19.7 inch frame and a 31.6 standover height. The thing about this bike that I love that's ideal for hunters is that it's a single speed. Um, there's no gears, there's no derailleur. It's super bulletproof. Um, you know, also too, like, Unlike the mid drives, if this chain breaks, you'll still be, the motors will still work in separately from each other, so you still be able to ride this bike out. Introducing the HPC Titan. This is a high quality off-road beast that is yearning to tame all sorts of terrain from mud, sand, snow, to dirt. What makes this bike completely unique in the industry is that we are 100% dedicated to making electric bikes made in the USA. Not only are all the hydroform tubing sourced in the USA, but they are mitered, jigged up, welded, heat treated, and powder coated here as well. After that, we hand build everything from scratch on the bike from hand lacing and truing the wheels to installing the Cane Creek headset and even making the battery system from scratch in the USA as well. This 6061 T6 aluminum frame is robust and overbuilt to provide its owners reliable duty for years to come. The Titan was built with both military and civilian duty in mind. The ultra robust motor system offers both torque sensing and throttle on demand, which is becoming rarer and rarer in the industry as the European brands clamor to remove throttles from e-bikes. The torque sensor is very accurate and smooth and allows for a beautifully seamless pedal assist experience that you have to feel to believe. Motor power options range from 750 watts, 1500 watts, and 2000 watts. In this video, we are going to present to you a visual aid to understand what you're actually getting at different power levels. For all of these tests, we will be using throttle only and the largest 42 tooth cassette cog on the rear with a 40 tooth race face narrow wide chainring up front. First up is a true 350 watt power level. This is a visual reference to understand the 250 watt and 350 watt bikes that exist on the market. Now, it is worth noting that many of these bikes that claim a low rating are actually able to continually furnish more than their advertised rating, but nonetheless, here is an actual 350 watt output. Do not be deceived by many pedal assist systems that have a strong rider making the bike look stronger than it actually is. 
In many cases, a real athlete could climb a hill like this with no electric motor assistance at all. Next up is our 750 watt system. This system is dyno tested on our in-house DynoJet dynamometer to be the strongest system we can make 100% street legal in all scenarios. Output to the rear tire is right under 750 watts. Torque is around 100 newton meters at the motor. As you can see, it is substantially stronger than the 350 watt system we just tested and has a much easier time with the lower portion of the hill climb. Finally, here is our 1500 watt system. This system puts out an incredible 160 newton meters at the motor and is much stronger than both previous systems. This, in our opinion, is the minimum amount of power that you need to really get the average rider to explore anywhere his or her heart desires. It allows enough assistance to really make riding fun and pain-free and allows you to see so much more than you could on a normal or lower powered e-bike. We also do offer a 2000 watt system that unfortunately we didn't have available at the time this video was shot, but it does allow just enough power to get the rider to the top of the hill without having to provide additional assistance. The 2000 watt system provides approximately 200 newton meters of torque at the motor.